Then bias, a great many people thought, was going to be that impactful. You'd have to be 40 years old, perhaps closer to 50, to remember him clearly as an All-American at Merrill. To have your mind's eye summon the way he beat UT Chattanooga in the waning moments of the NCAA tournament as a freshman. The way he put 35 on the Tar Heels in Chapel Hill. What a job by Bias. Or 41 on the Blue Devils in Camden. And he dots that exclamation point. In case you can't remember, he stood six foot eight. Had Sean Kemp's explosion, Michael Jordan's athleticism, and a jump shot from basketball head. Straight up, flick, bucket. No leaning, no drifting, back down to the floor with the bold defiance of a young Jim Brown. Duke coach Mike Krzyzewski told the Boston Globe's Bob Ryan 17 years ago, quote, this is my 24th year at Duke, and in that time, there have been two opposing players who have really stood out, Michael Jordan and Len Bias, close quote. Oh my! And he made the steal in a jam! What a play by Bias! Those of us who had the pleasure of watching him believe Bias would have been to Jordan what Bird was to Magic, a true, natural, equally fierce rival the singular decade-long rival Jordan never had. And his tragic death two days after the Celtics drafted Bias with the second overall pick in June of 1986 left us all with nothing to do but fantasize about how great we believe he would have been. How great the royal influence of Larry Bird, Kevin McHale, and Robert Parrish would have been. The kid having to earn his stripes against the original big three every day in practice. Well, they're a good team, and they got a good uh, supporting players. I can go up there and sit on the bench, or whether going to play or not, and I learned a lot from the players there. Of course, fantasize is all we were left with. He never got to share the court with Bird, McHale, and Parrish, or for that matter, with Charles Barkley, Patrick Ewing, David Robinson, Carl Malone, Sean Kemp, or Jordan. We're left with grainy clips, which don't always confirm what we remember or anticipate. Those too young to have seen him surely wonder if the retelling of his story have become too grand and outsized, while those of us who saw him are absolutely certain it's justified.